Hi, hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to see about the daily aptitude day 153 solution. So today's aptitude questions are taken from the concept of partnership. So we are going to discuss about three questions in detail in this video. So if you're new to this channel and have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel for more videos. And also previously in our channel, if you see means we have posted about the Baiju's of campus recruitment and daily aptitude day 50 day 152 solution essential of campus recruitment revet chair and zoho of campus recruitment also so if you have not watched that video you can watch that video and apply for those companies and prepare for the aptitude questions also so let's get into today's topic so the first question is four friends a b c and d started a business in partnership by investing capitals in the proportion 3 is to 5 is to 4 is to 6 during the period of one year, these capitals were utilized in the proportion of 6 is to 4 is to 5 is to 3 respectively. If at the end of the year a profit of rupees 15,550 was made, what will be the share of D? So four friends are there, they are investing a, a amount of rupees capital something amount is there that they have invested in the ratio of 3 is to 5 is to 4 is to 6. And out of that invested amount, in that particular year, the amount utilized ratio is also being given 6 is to 4 is to 5 is to 3 and at the end of the year profit is being made. So what will be the D share we have to identify. So first the investment amount into utilized capital in utilized capital we have to multiply. So A's investment is going to be investment into capital utilized. So 3 into 6 will be 18. Similar way B, C and D we have to calculate. So 18, 20, 20 and 18 it will be coming. So D share only we have to identify. So D's share will be 18 divided by total amount is going to be 72 or we have to 76 we have to add all those things a share plus b share plus c share plus d share if you add means you will be getting it as 76 so 18 divided by 76 into total profit if you do means you will be getting the share of d so that is going to be 3682.89 so option d is the correct answer for the first question and the second question is the quadratic equation ax square minus 11x plus 40 equal to 0. If the sum of roots is 1 is to 1, what is the product of roots? So sum of roots and product of roots, the, there is a direct formula. So sum of roots is going to be minus b by a and product of roots is going to be c by a. So here they have given the value of b and c but they have not given the value of a. So we have to identify the value of a with the sum of roots given uh, from the question so sum of roots answer they have given in the question as 1 is 2 sorry 1.1 so sum of roots formula is going to be minus b by a so minus b by a means b value is going to be minus 11 so minus of minus 11 divided by a equal to 1.1 if you calculate the value of a you will be getting the answer as 10 so they have asked us to find the product of roots so product of roots formula is c by a so c value is going to be 40 so 40 divided by 10 if you do means you will be getting the answer as 4 so option a is the correct answer for the second question and the last question is for arranging a picnic each student contributed an amount equal to the number of students while the teacher contributed an amount equal to the twice the number of students however if each student would have contributed an amount equal to twice the number of students and the teacher would have contributed an amount equal to the number of students they would have generated rupees 1056 more find the number of students in the group so they are saying that in uh, for arranging a picnic each student is giving an equal amount to the number of students if for example 10 students are being there each student contribute 10 rupees and teacher also contributed an amount equal to the number of students they have mentioned okay so they are generating a total amount of 1056 we have to identify the number of students so what we are going to do let like the number of students in the class be x we don't know what is going to be the number of class and the amount contributed by them is going to be x we don't know what is going to be the amount each contributor so x into x is equal to the amount what they have given thousand 156 so here 156 will come not uh, 1056 so 1156 so x square is equal to 1156 taking square root and finding out the value of x you will be getting the answer as 34 so uh, the given option is also being wrong so option uh, the answer will be 34 so 34 is the correct answer for the last question so i hope you like this video if you like this video please share it with your friends and if you're new to this channel and have not subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe my channel for more videos so see you in the next video until then stay tuned signing off from you bye take care